Hey there everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm here to talk to you about the process of making YouTube videos, about content creation and what it is. Uh, this is mainly for beginners but stick around if you're not new to this maybe you'll get something new out of it, you never know. So like I said, something new, let's put up some bars and make it a little bit cinematic. So, here we go. First part is planning. Well, actually the first part is that you go get yourself some coffee. Make yourself a cup of coffee, you're gonna need it. Take out a notepad and a pen. Start storming, start taking out ideas. Brainstorming ideas might lead to much more than just one video. So it's always a good thing to start brainstorming. Just remember to drink that coffee, it's getting cold. Now, you've come up with a video. Good, great, now what's the story behind it? Every video should have a story. What kind of story? That's for you to decide. But to hook people up on those videos, you're always gonna need a story. Apart from certain kind of videos, like reviews, or maybe tech videos, uh, gaming videos. If you're gonna come up with something to spice them up, it's always okay. There's nothing wrong in spicing things up. To help out with the story, come up with emotions. Start writing down emotions. Pick out one of those emotions. Next, after a drawing board, draw pictures. Draw different kind of scenes, what you're gonna make. Plan even transitions. Like here, from me, swipe to the camera, to the coffee mug, me taking a sip, to the cat. Hey there, buddy and so on. That said, try not to overthink things. Overthinking is bad. Just come up with an idea that feels good. Some things might come up during the execution phase, so it's not too late to add them there to spice things up. And that leads to the second phase, that is the execution phase. Now, in the execution phase, what do you do in the execution phase? Execute things. You execute the plan you made. You pick up the camera and start filming. If this is your first time picking up a camera, getting in front of a camera, well, I've done a video on how to practice that, so go check it out. Now, when filming, remember to take enough angles, enough footage that you can piece up together in the editing phase. I cannot say that enough because it's a bummer when you go to post-processing and realize that you don't have enough footage. And like I said, if you come up with something now, now is the greatest time to add it there because after you've gotten the video into post-processing, it's too late. You're not gonna be able to, or probably you could, you could film it again or film different scenes again, but it's gonna make your life easier to just come up with new ideas on the go. So why not? Just go with it, go with the flow. If you come up with something, just try it out. Never hesitate to try out new things. Now doing these things by yourself isn't always easy, but you just gotta go with what you got. So like I've been filming, I've been vlogging by myself from the start without any help. Maybe sometimes my wife's been, wife's been helping me, but on the other hand, do you need help? Of course it helps with the transitions, filming yourself. You get more practice when you're doing it by yourself. You're not gonna start slacking off because you have to put in the effort to make those videos. Of course, when you got a friend, you gotta put the effort in directing then. So there's the different kind of practice there, but that comes later on. You're gonna get friends through this, so hold your horses. It's just gonna get better. Now, the third phase is ERR, Edit, Render, Release. Now for me, the last part was the one that needed the most practice because I had no idea how to use post-processing programs. What you gotta do is you take that footage, put it onto your computer, load it onto your computer, you fire up Premiere, you fire up DaVinci, you fire up Final Cut, just don't fire them all at once because your computer is gonna crash. Just open one, the one you're using, and start editing, and start learning, it's a learning process. Start watching YouTube videos on editing because that's gonna help the hell out of everything. That helped me a lot because I had no idea about color grading and cutting and 
deleting and just okay deleting footage that's easy but like cutting and doing those transitions and everything there's a lot of things that are easy to learn through YouTube and there are people there teaching it the easiest way possible but what I highly suggest is you just start putting those pieces together start looking at where you did that transition where we did it where the next one starts just putting them together don't think about special effects and after effects how you're gonna use them just start putting the pieces together maybe find some nice sound effects and music to go with it just do your first video just get it out there just finish it finish it and get it out there because in the end the feeling that you get from putting out that video is awesome you're feeling happiness you're feeling that you've achieved something but a heads up if you're trying to be a content creator that video is probably not gonna get as much much hits as you would love it to get there's nothing you can do about it it's the algorithms it's the stuff out there even though sometimes somebody might make a pretty awesome video it just doesn't get viral but the more you put in the more it's gonna pay off you're just gonna have to be patient just start putting in time for those videos start learning start making videos i've done this for almost a year now i feel i've gotten better but i haven't still gotten to the place i wish i was in read all that out of notes you probably saw the notebook hanging around there somewhere it was so much that i couldn't just memorize it still got some learning on there hope you liked the video hope this helps you on becoming a content creator starting to create helping you out create and live for the story guys